Greetings. Welcome to day 33 of the 100 Day Practice Challenge. Today's a super big day for folks that like football. So I know this video probably won't get watched. <laughs> but I thought I'd talk about composition today. Um, you can be a composer. There is no barrier except pencil and paper. And sometimes you don't even need that. Sometimes as a composer, you can just keep the, the melodies up here. Before we invented writing music, uh, every musician kept all the songs up, up in their head. And when we first started writing it down, the people who kept all these thousands of songs in their head went, uh, so what? Why'd you write it down? We just memorize it. But what happens when that person um, dies? Do they take all the songs with them? Well, they try to teach those songs down the line to the next generation. But uh, there's, some, there's a way to make it last longer. So get yourself some, some paper, some lined paper here. You can make this yourself with a ruler and some patience and a pencil. Um, just draw straight lines across a piece of paper. You need five of them. These are pretty small. This is uh, Judy Green music. Oh, there it is. Judy Green. That's too close. Uh, but you know what's neat? Many printers these days have uh, built-in music paper formats. And there's a couple of websites out there with absolutely free music paper formats. So, here and there, you can figure out how to print yourself some music paper. You can get that music paper and then um, write down some notes. And then play them on your instrument. And then erase some notes. <laughs> and then write some more notes. Um, the hardest part, I think, at first is taking what you think you have in your head and putting it on paper. And how you have to write that down. And sometimes you can hear things in your head really, really clearly. And then when trying to translate it to paper, it can be can be kind of tough. So uh, sometimes having a friend along who can write down what you're saying, or um, you uh, you play it on your instrument, and write it any way you can. I mean, if notes are a problem, then just write letter names. And if letter names are a problem, write the fingers that you're doing. I'm just doing a little bluesy thing here. Um, but just noodle around. that down, but, you know, then change it a little bit. Try to go back to the old thing. Um, but there, there doesn't have to be perfect circumstances to start writing it down. There's nothing special about being, um, you have to have training or knowledge or years. I mean, it's just start putting your mark on paper and then have that mark remind you of what your music looks like. Some compositions are are just pictures drawn on a page. If that helps you remember the piece that you were thinking of and helps you play it every time, then you've written your composition down and you're a composer. Um, so I guess the, the larger mes message here is that uh, there, there should be nothing getting in your way to composing a piece of music. Don't, don't let your, even yourself, just in the middle of an idea, just write something down, play it, and now you're a composer. Well, good luck with that. Keep practicing. If you're on day one, fantastic. It's day two, great job, and after that, just keep it going. Bye.